time inside a high-powered dolphin, ships will fly, and you could sail your own private island. Technology is pushing from every direction, getting faster with each passing second. Prepare yourself. The future is closer than you think. Water is the enemy of speed, and speed is what the future demands. The drag of the sea slows travelers down, and so we choose fast cars and jets instead. But future ships ships will move with stunning speed. And once again, the ocean will take us where we want to go. It begins with the Sea Phantom, a radical new vehicle that brings the speed of air travel to the seas. It's something in between. Something in between a boat and an, and an airplane. Imagine going from Seattle to LA by high-speed commuter boat. No airport, no traffic jams, just the wide open ocean at 100 miles per hour in comfort. There exists a transport technology gap between 50 and 150 miles an hour on the water. The gap exists today because big ships that can carry lots of passengers can't move fast enough to satisfy the average traveler. There's slow but cheap ships and fast but expensive aircraft. Could a fast ferry fill the gap? And if a ferry could move fast enough, would it be able to withstand the impact of the waves? Hit an eight-foot wave at 100 miles an hour, hit a three-foot wave at 100 miles an hour, you're gonna generate a momentary impact load of somewhere between 20 and 40 Gs. That's about five times the force of the space shuttle on launch. But when Sea Phantom hits waves at 100 miles per hour, it won't experience the same G-forces that ordinary boats will. Instead, a revolutionary hull design moves the center of gravity to the front of the boat. And then airfoils raise the boat out of the water, neutralizing the shock of the waves, essentially turning Sea Phantom into a plane. Part of the function of the foils is to make the transition from High drag waterborne to low drag airborne operation. You can literally feel yourself floating across the wave crest. Once it hits 35 miles per hour, Sea Phantom lowers its foils six feet into the water and lifts into the air out of the water's drag. Air is 800 times less dense than water, and you can operate on a tiny fraction of the horsepower. If the boat hits a small wave, the foils make a small correction. A bigger wave will cause a bigger correction, but passengers never feel the impact. Oh, it's really cool to ride in the Sea Phantom. Sea Phantom uses only one-fifth the gas of other high-speed boats, putting future ocean commuting within everyone's reach. I envision the Sea Phantom technology as a coastal transport system, city center to city center. Foreman's idea is to make triple digit speed on the water practical. The principles of Borman's design can be scaled up to a 90 foot vessel so that one day you will choose to travel by water. We're only on this earth for a short time. The faster we can travel from point A to point B, the more life we're gonna live. The Sea Phantom could someday be your best high-speed choice to get from New York to Miami. But if you want to get from New York to London, you'll still take a plane, right? <laughs>